Hello and welcome to Faith Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Felix Malpica. Tonight for our Wednesday evening prayer service, instead of doing our usual meditation on a psalm reading in the middle, we're going to take a time to do a litany of prayer for healing and hope. I know that many of us are just feeling heavy hearted in the midst of, well, in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of protests, in the midst of, of bringing um, the, the deep-seated hurt and disease that this country has uh, beyond the pandemic, but of racism and of exclusion. Um, and we need a little prayer for healing and hope. And we need also for people to step up into action, um, to begin to work towards the country that we all want to have, a place where there is a, a dream, God's dream, that becomes a reality, a place where there's peace and love and justice for all people. So tonight, we pray, and we pray for God to be able to give us a little bit of peace and hope, but also to move us, to move us towards the neighbor in love. So as we begin, as usual, we begin with the breath of God that is with us and around us at all times, the breath of God that can give you courage, that can give you peace, that can give you hope. So together, let's breathe in. And breathe out. A second time in and out. And a third time in and out. And now let us light our candles together. A reminder of the light of Christ that is with us and around us at all times that continues to shine, even in the midst of these dark nights. Let us pray. This is another day, O Lord. I don't know what it will bring, but make me ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lay low, help me to do it patiently. If I am to do nothing, let me do it gallantly. Make these words more than words, and give me the Spirit of Jesus. Amen. And now a reading from Isaiah. But thus says the Lord, 
who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear. For I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. And the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and from the west. I will gather you. We lift our hands in Let us pray. O God, from the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is worthy of all praise. Let our prayer rise before you as incense, and with the lifting up of our hands, may we offer our whole lives to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from Psalm 86. Bow down your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and in misery. Keep watch over my life, for I am faithful. Save your servant who trusts in you. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for you are my God. I call upon you all the day long, gladden the soul of your servant. For to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving and abundant in mercy toward all. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplication. 
In the time of my trouble, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. And now, a litany of healing and hope. First, we exclaim, God, when will our help come? So as I say each refrain, your response will be, when will our help come, O God? We are haunted and afraid by what we cannot understand. When will our help come, O God? We are tired, aching, and empty. When will our help come, O God? Our bodies betray our past, bearing so many wounds not yet healed. When will our help come, O oh God? We are weary of the trauma lived, relived, and repeated in our lives, our relationships, and our bodies. When will our help come, O oh God? Now we call for God to be present. And so with each petition, your response is be present to us in our anguish. We are lost and alone in our grief. Be present to us in our anguish, O oh God. Our children don't know us and we don't know ourselves. Be present to us in our anguish, O oh God. Our relationships suffer. Too many people use us and sin against us. Be present to us in our anguish, O oh God. We bear the pain of trauma. Be present to us in our anguish. O oh God. Now, let us ask for God's healing. With each petition, your response will be, Heal us, most merciful God. In our pain, we have lost our connection to you and to our true selves. Heal us, most merciful God. The burden of our guilt weighs on our hearts and minds. Heal us, most merciful God. We wrestle with the consequences of our choices and long for new beginnings. Heal us, most merciful God. We struggle to find peace and to trust in your mercy. Heal us, most merciful God. And now, we ask for God to make us whole. With each petition, you respond, God of great compassion, make us whole again. Help us heal our broken bodies and broken spirits. God of great compassion, make us whole again. Teach us to love ourselves and our bodies and to love one another as children of God. God of great compassion, Make us whole again. Grant us the courage to breathe in the truth of your grace and to turn our grief into wonder and action. God of great compassion, make us whole again. Renew us by your Holy Spirit that we may become the people you have made us to be. 
God of great compassion, make us whole again. And now as we prepare to sing that song of Mary, that great jubilant song that speaks of a world getting turned upside down, a world where God's peace and love and justice will become a reality, um, there were a few verses within that psalm that um, were close to my heart as I went through it and did my writing and drawing uh, for my meditation. Here's a few verses to hear again and then to kind of hold in the back of your mind as we sing that song of Mary. The true God who inhabits sacred space is a father to the fatherless, a defender of widows. He makes a home for those who are alone. He frees the prisoners and leads them to prosper. O oh, true God, when you led your enslaved people from Egypt, when you journeyed with us through the wilderness, blessed be the Lord who carries our heavy loads every day. The true God who is our salvation, we know our God, is the God who delivers us. The Eternal, the Lord, is the one who saves us from the grip of death. The true God of Israel grants strength and power to his people. Blessed be our God. And now, let's sing that great song of Mary. Tyrant. 
And now let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And now a reading from Matthew and a prayer. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we come before you today broken, yet being healed through your love. Be present with us always, even when we only feel your absence. Give us the courage to stand in the shadow of the cross of your beloved Son and see your love laid open for us in that sacrifice Give us the strength to mourn what has been lost and to bear the traumas of our past, knowing that you are with us in the present. Meet us in our brokenness. Remind us that we are whole and that we are yours. Fill us with the light and hope to see ourselves, our bodies, minds, and spirits as you see us. Beloved children of the living God. Amen.
you for worshiping with us tonight. I hope that it was able to bring you a little bit of peace, hope, in the midst of these difficult times. Know that you are loved. Know that you are resting in the palm of God's hand, that God is with you right here, right now, and will continue to be with you forever. Amen.